It's crazy to think it's been 12 years since the Nintendo 3DS launched. This tiny handheld didn't just carry Nintendo during the commercial flop known as the Wii U, but also played an important role for me since I created my very first YouTube channel dedicated to covering the 3DS Pokemon games. Hello everyone, my name is King Zorak the Illusionist, and back in October, Nintendo announced they will be shutting down the online services for the 3DS and Wii U systems in early April this year. When I first heard this news, I was left feeling sad since I made so many memories live streaming Wi-Fi battles, shiny hunts, and tournaments on Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon with YouTube viewers that eventually became my closest friends. So, before the servers go down, I decided now was the time I should pay my last homage to the 3DS Pokemon games and see if anyone still plays these games online. What does the GTS look like? Does Wonder Trade still work? Or is it even possible to find someone to battle online? In order to answer these questions, we're going to be checking out Pokemon Y, Omega Ruby, Moon, and Ultra Sun to see what their online current state looks like. Hey everybody, King Z here, and before we jump into this video, I just have a couple of things I want to say. The first thing is thank you to everyone who left positive comments about my live commentary skills on the last video. It means the world to me, and it gave me the confidence to continue to do live commentary. The second thing I want to say is... I actually have no idea what's the best time to find people to play the Nintendo 3DS online Pokemon games with. So as I'm recording this, it's currently Saturday, 4.41 p.m. And I'm doing this so we can hopefully find some people, right? I would assume that the weekends are probably the best time to play any game online because that's when there should be the most active players. I've been doing some testing before the new year and after the new year, and honestly, my results have been inconclusive, so I'm hoping we can possibly find somebody to play with. Now, with that being said, let's jump and connect to the internet here. I'm really excited because Pokemon X and Y hit home for me, man. These were, of course, the first Nintendo 3DS mainline Pokemon games. So just being able to go back and play through them again and check out the online services means the absolute world to me. When I got my start doing YouTube, I never once did the online Wi-Fi battles. I've only used the GTS and Wonder Trade sparingly because I've had some mixed luck. So hopefully we can, you know, find some really good stuff. The first thing I'm gonna test out is Wonder Trade. And I feel like Wonder Trade should work. It seems like, you know, there's a lot of services on YouTube and just, you know, in general where people run bots that can trade you these mythical and legendary hack Pokemon. So maybe we'll find one of those. Maybe we won't. I don't know if people still run them. Hopefully they probably do because that'd be interesting just to get on video. If not, I hope we get something good because my luck for Wonder Trade has always been horrible okay we found someone i yippee kai oh okay i don't want to say that but he's from um the united states arizona all right buddy hopefully you got something good not sure please have something good maybe he gave me oh okay okay a charmander that's pretty cool all right it's always nice just receiving a starter now of all the games i've been playing I've seen starter Pokemon be some of the most commonly traded. Usually people trade over their breed rejects when they don't get what they want. So that's pretty cool. I usually get route one and two Pokemon like Bunnelby and Fletchling or most popular of uh, Magikarp. So that's pretty neat. The next thing we're going to check out is the GTS. Now I've been doing some research into the gts and i've been reading up on it and i came across a video by a youtuber named kev dog i believe is his name he made a video going over the current state of their 3ds and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys it has me nervous because i'm afraid i might get banned he was talking about how a lot of people just go on the gts and there's some weird shenanigans going on so hopefully we don't run into anything that will get us banned i'm kind of want to see some shenanigans but nothing too crazy where i have to freak out so the Pokemon I'm going to search for is Kiram because Kiram is such a badass Pokemon, guys. Pokemon. Okay, well, it seems we got ourselves an error code. It says error code 006-1202. So that's a little awkward. It's a little concerning. This is the first time as you guys seen me connect to the online services for my Pokemon Y save. Usually I've been doing some stuff on my Pokemon X save, but this is a little weird. I don't know what's going on. I currently cannot move my 3DS uh, cursors or anything. Everything seems like it's frozen in place. I can't even go to the home menu. So 
what I plan on doing is to not do a hard reset, but we're just going to go back to the home menu. That was a little weird. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That was a little weird. I've had previous experiences where on my Pokemon X, I was able to take a look at the GTS. So I've never seen this before. I don't know if Nintendo is preemptively shutting down the GTS because it, I don't know, there's a lot of weird things going on or if it's just maybe my internet connection. So what I'm going to do is reconnect to the internet and we're going to give it a shot, all right? I would at least want to browse the GTS. If not, I'm going to show some footage from my Pokemon X um, save where I was able to successfully get onto the GTS and actually, you know, see, um, not Wonder Trade, and see uh, some uh, what it looks like, all right? I, I'm, I, if all else fails, if it keeps doing that, I'm just going to throw it up right now or later, it all depends on how this goes. But I I have had this weird thing, right, where I had some issues with the GTS, okay? Uh, it actually froze my Nintendo 3DS. So this isn't like the first time this has happened. I mean, of course, it's the first time happening on my Pokemon Y. But it froze my Nintendo 3DS and it just was not working. How about we, we kind of, you know, chill for a little bit and instead of searching up Akiram, let's go for something a lot more chill right let's search for a caterpie you can't go wrong with with a caterpie right or is it going to just error out yep well i don't know guys it, it gave me an error so yeah i'm going to throw up the footage of where my 3ds actually crashed and i ran into this really weird person's ot where it was like get off the gts or something to that effect so that's a little that's a little strange all right guys i'm still having the same error so i actually have to power off my 3ds just to go back to the home menu to go back into the game so I wonder what that's all about. I believe in Kev Dog's video, he was talking about how those are like hacked profiles or something to that extent. I don't know. I will link his video in the description. It's a really informative video going over what the GTS looks like. But I believe he was saying that there are some hackers that's on there and you can uh, get banned from doing that stuff. With that being said, I'm connecting back to the internet and let's check out some battles here. Now, from my testing, I can say I've had trouble finding people to battle with for Pokemon uh, X and Y. I've had better luck in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so I'm hoping we can get a little bit lucky, maybe, and we could find some people to battle with because I've never took advantage of Pokemon X and Y, Wi-Fi battles or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when the games were new. I kind of got my start a little bit late on YouTube, and I started with Pokemon, um, what is it, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That's when I really was in my big prime of Wi-Fi battling. And I kind of regret that because the Generation 6 uh, metagame, for what I remember, was pretty crazy. They had a lot of interesting Pokemon that was on the scene, like Talonflame. Of course, Greninja, I believe, was going crazy back then. And a bunch of other Megamons, which is kind of sad because I wish I could have used it, right? Um, as it's searching for an opponent... I can try to see if I, I'll just throw up some like footage of one I found for um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So yeah, and I really wonder, right, while we're searching for an opponent, if these games share the same servers or battle servers with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I mean, they're both generation six games and outside of, I believe, a couple of forms, you should have no problem, you know, battling with each other, you know? So maybe we can find somebody. If not, that's kind of a shame, man, because Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have some really cool game modes that I enjoy, that I thought was like so cool, that I kind of hate they just got rid of in Generation 7. And those two were triple battles and rotation battles. Triple battles and rotation battles were my absolute favorite. I wish they kind of caught on a little bit more, but you know, when they were introduced, it was the fifth generation games, and those games were by far some of the most experimental games. I know they weren't for everybody, but personally, they're my favorite. You know, fifth generation, best generation. That's why my mascot's a Zorak, because that's my favorite Pokemon of all time. But yeah, it, it's kind of weird. And it says that it can't find somebody for the single battle. So we're going to try to do a um, double battle. It's kind of weird, right, that I can't find anybody for, like, the singles. Usually the singles were, I would assume, pretty popular. I know that double battles are also kind of popular, so maybe. If not, I, I just don't know. Let's see here. Are we going to find somebody? No. So what I plan on doing is I'll just uh, cut until I find somebody, or I'll just say, hey, guys, I couldn't find someone. So wish me luck. Maybe we can find somebody. 
So after searching all four battle modes, guys, I was not able to find a single person to battle with, which is just what I expected, to be honest with you all. Now, I do know for Pokemon X and Y, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I even want to say Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there were special battle competition rules that you were able to download and do special type of battles with so maybe in those specific ones you were able to download people are maybe doing some battles i do doubt it but for the ones that i can personally test i wasn't able to find anybody so with that being said let's hop over to pokemon omega ruby and see what's going on on those games Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm about to start by connecting to the internet. Now, one thing I can say, which has been a good sign, is that the connecting to the internet has been pretty much stable across all the games I've tested so far. And even in my initial testing, I haven't had a time where I wasn't able to connect to the online internet, which is pretty cool because I know a while back, and I believe Nintendo fixed this, they actually stopped new players from playing Animal Crossing new leaf online on the nintendo 3ds i believe they said it was a bug but it's crazy to think that they've kind of probably just started to shut down internet services for games a little bit earlier and this is not confirmed this is just something i'm thinking so who knows what other games probably went offline without us even noticing anyway we're gonna start off by doing our wonder trade and i feel pretty confident that wonder trade should work by far it's been the most uh i guess best working online feature so far that's been pretty consistent so let's see what we're gonna get i'm hoping we're gonna get something pretty cool all right of course i'm gonna trade over makit which is the uh slack no not the slack off it's the makuhita that you get for trading a slack off in rustboro city so i guess i'm re like gifting pokemon if you want to think of it like that i'm just retrading a traded pokemon so hopefully yep we found somebody um Amori, I don't want to say is how you pronounce it. I can't, you know, I can't read Japanese. So I don't know what the top uh, lines say, but uh, yeah, we're going to send it over to Amori. Or no, actually, Amori might be the actual, uh, wow, she gave me a Geodude. That actually might be a place in Japan. Now I think about it, actually. It's like the um, country that it's from. And then I believe it's the uh, city or place inside of that country of where this person is so i honestly i don't even know this person's name I'm, I'm sorry i just botched their entire identity so yeah but i could just say wonder trade does work now let's hop over to the gts here now i don't know if the gts is gonna kick me out this time i mean before i've had pretty meh results with pokemon um what was it um why so maybe we can get lucky i don't know why i i'm gonna i keep going back to trying to search for like a, a kirim or a kyogre maybe i'm getting unlucky with these results or something hopefully the gts actually yeah it looks like the gts actually worked this time and this is exactly what i was talking about last time right i got this same exact error from the uh it's not really an error but the exact same message is when i searched on pokemon's wise uh gts before it's just kind of like stopped working i guess it's uh quit the gts and they want to zigzagoon now i believe in uh kev dog's video these were the trainers he was talking about that are technically hacked ones i, I i'm, I'm kind of not even gonna lie to you guys i'm tempted to try to trade and see what happens we may get banned but I mean, well, you know what? I don't even have a, a Zigzagoon to trade, so I guess I just kind of saved myself, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we might get a little lucky here, guys. I I'm tempted to go out and catch one, but I'm thinking about it. It might not be the best thing because if they ban my Nintendo 3DS, that would be unfortunate because I kind of want to revisit this video a little bit later on, closer to April, when the servers are about to go down because usually people tend to play the older games online just like they did for... um the psv did and it's uh servers people just kind of play the game later on <laughs> he named his kyogre 69 i just realized that that's weird when did he yep right here so that's kind of weird right it's it as a master ball i don't know that's that's a little strange that's a little strange i was able to actually do a wonder trade uh not a one trade a gts trade that went through successfully uh before i believe um i could show some footage of it i know for sure i happened to get a landorus um as well as a latias i believe so i'll just throw up footage for one of them that was successful but that's kind of interesting let's do a little bit of a different uh search and see if it's for any other pokemon maybe since kyogre is a legendary 
it's gonna be crazy but if we do something a little bit normal like let's say just like an alakazam we might get even luckier and find people who aren't trying to spam something like uh this they want a fletchling and actually uh he has something weird in his tag maybe that's his discord tag or something i don't know but um it's weird because if you look closely these there's a black line what the heck what okay you know what yeah this is really weird i i, I was trying to be I guess positive, but, uh, I don't know. Sub me on. Do I have? No. I wish somebody would ask for a stupid Geodude, man. That'd be, that'd be freaking awesome. I'll be, I'll happily give him a Geodude, but like, no, people want Zubats and all this other stuff that I just don't want to, uh, do here. Let's do one last search and see if we can get something cool. Um, I believe maybe we should search for Groudon, maybe, or, um, how about, I got a cool Pokemon. Let's look at Latios, because I like Latios. He's, he's pretty neat. So let's search for Latios. Maybe we can get lucky and get a, I guess, a, a trade live for you guys. Um, Latios for a Thunderous. Giratina, Uxie, Zigzagoon. I'm kind of regretting that I don't. I have a lot of ass. I don't know if it's the level, though. Yeah, it's not the, the right level. Ugh. Ugh, man. Okay. Uh, What about... I don't have a Ho-Oh. I don't think I have any Pokemon I can trade. I'm kind of saddened by the fact I don't have a Zigzagoon. I'm kind of tempted, right? How about I maybe go and catch a Zigzagoon and see if we could do a trade live? That'd be pretty neat. Alrighty, guys. So I'm back on the GTS. I just caught myself a Zigzagoon. So I believe, let's search for Latios again. I didn't mean to hit that. Let's search for Latios again and let's see what's gonna happen. I'm actually nervous, but I just said, you know what, screw it. I, we, I, I'm curious to see if I can uh, happen to get just one of these magical shiny Pokemon that's on here that's hacked. I don't know if we're gonna get banned. I mean, if we do, it'd be crazy, but hey, he wanted a Thunderous. I know one of you guys wanted a Zigzagoon. If, oh, look at that. This is our guy. This is our guy. I don't know if it's, I wonder if it's gonna actually go through or if it's just gonna like error out. Wait, is the zigzagoon right here? Is there a specific requirement? It's like any level, right? What, I just realized it says level back. What, the, that doesn't make any sense. Hello, that, what? All right, this is another one. This one could be it, right? Funky Gamer YT, maybe you. Yeah, see, now it works. I, I, that's kind of weird though. What, what does that even mean, level back? If this goes through, guys, oh my gosh. It's checking the GTS status. Is it going to give me an error? Is it going to be like, uh, no, you just got exposed for trying to get a hack bond? No? Guys, I, I think it's, go it's going through. It, it seems like it is going through. Did we just get... Oh my gosh, we did get it. Wow. So we managed to get a shiny Latios on the GTS. It's in a Cherish Ball. And I'm pretty sure you can't have Pokemon in Cherish Balls on the gts like or you can't really trade for them so i don't know i'm kind of nervous like i actually want to take a summary of this thing really fast let me just quit the gts here and let's go run to the pokemon center i i really had to go back all the way to old data town just to um well i guess the route before just to come on trainer get off the bike just to get this uh zigzagoon because i can't believe i just didn't have one like lying around the box but it's oh whatever right we're going to go and organize, not the items, not the items. Oh, it must be holding an item too. Organize the boxes, guys. Let's take a look. This is it. Wow. So it's it's got a life orb. It's the timid nature. Wow. So we managed to get one from Southern Island. Look at all these ribbons this thing has. What? What? <laughs> the expert baller, careless ribbon, relax, news ribbon. Yo. So that's 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 kind of cool. That, I'm not even gonna lie. That, that's kind of funny actually. It's probably competitively viable too. Actually, looking at that special attack and speed. Oh yeah, dude, that's a max. That that that's, that is a competitive Latios that we managed to get live. So that's pretty cool. I guess this GTS was a lot more interesting than the last one. But really, where it gets interesting is the battle spot, guys. If we can somehow manage to find somebody to battle with, I'm gonna be excited here. I'm going to do what I did before, where I'm going to go through every single battle uh, phase, and hopefully we can look for something. If we find one, then great. 
If not, you already know what's going on. We just kind of got unlucky here. So I'm going to test all of them and I will be back with the results. Well, guys, I, uh, this just, well, as soon as I was about to put down the 3DS and let it search, we found somebody. Hayden. Hayden. Uh, dude, he has a T. Oh, well, okay. Whatever. You know what? We got this. We got, we got this. We got this. We got this. We're going to go. He has a mute, too. Oh, man. Our abs. I feel like Absol might be pressure, though, for this battle. I, I I'm nervous. I feel like I just got put on the spot. I don't know, guys. If he, uh, if he goes that, I, you know what, what I'm really predicting is going to happen here. This man is definitely going to go Mega Rayquaza because that's every, everybody always spams Mega Rayquaza. So we're going to definitely lose this battle, but screw it. We're just going to have some fun here. This is like the first time ever I was able to capture a battle live, like, and actually be able to just kind of talk through it and commentate through it. So I'm really excited. I, I please guy, if you're going to time out, then you're going to time out. But like. Please, let's just do this. Let's have some fun, man. Let's battle. I never get to battle. So it's like I'm reliving a little bit of a childhood, I guess. Not even childhood dream, but like a dream I've always kind of wanted to do as I was doing this video. Now, I don't know why Hayden over here is taking such a long time. For a quick second, honestly, I thought it was the YouTuber Hayden. But I'm like, what are the odds of that man playing Omega Ruben Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot? Like, come on now. It can't be. It can't, it can't be that guy. Is he gonna just run the battle clock out, guy? Come on now, Hayden. You you already you're gonna win automatically, bro. I know you see your team. You see your team. You see my team. Your team's gonna like crap over mine. I guarantee that he's got. Hmm. Probably that's a Mega Metagross. I know it's gonna be a Mega Rayquaza because I think Rayquaza just has its Mega Stone by default because it ate it. We have a Mewtwo, a Kyogre, and a Sceptile. I'm pretty sure they're... Well, Kyogre has Primal Revision. But, like, I'm pretty sure you already have a bunch of Megas in here, man. You're going to automatically win. So, come on, bro. It's it's like 10 seconds. Is he just, like, not doing it? Why does he take and get sweet time? Come on, bro. Five seconds. It doesn't matter. We're about to jump into this battle. The hype is so real, guys. Oh, my gosh. It actually went through. Yo. King Z versus Hayden. Bro, why did you not, like, do anything? I don't know. It's funny, right? I, I never would have expected me to get lucky on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That's that that in itself is just funny. All right, all right. So Sceptile versus this. Oh man. Okay, I think I don't think we did a bad matchup here, guys. I'm gonna just go outright for um me. I'm I'm gonna just go for a psychic. I wanted to go for a protect just to bait him out and see what he's gonna do here. Come on, Hayden, bro. What are you gonna do, bro? That's if he's even doing anything. I, oh, he did Leaf Blade. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we already, like, lost Alakazam. I should have seen that coming. All right, buddy. How about I go my Charizard against your Sceptile? That, this is probably going to be, like, the fastest battle ever, but, like, it is what it is. I'm going to go for a Mega Evolution. We're going to go for a Mega Flare Blitz. Just because me the Mega Evolution animation in this game is so freaking fire. I have to go for it, guys. I just have to go for it. I, I, yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, strength. Hello? Does this guy just have a team that's just like... What? I, I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little lost. I'm not even going to lie, Hayden. I, I, I don't know what you're doing there, but... Oh, well, Sceptile's out the way. So this seems like a fair, a pretty fair battle. Goodbye, Hayden. All right. It's your little Sceptile. That Flare Bliss. We're going to take that recoil damage, but it's all right. Yeah, no. I remember Mega Charizard X being Kyogre. I know where this is going. <laughs> I already, I already know where this is about to go. This is, this is bad, man. Oh my gosh, what primal Kyogre, dude? I mean, like, I knew it was coming, but like, ah, uh, primordial seat. Yep, there it is. See, that, all he has to do is, uh, what is it? I know uh, Groudon's is precipitate blades. I don't, I don't remember what uh, Kyogre gets, but it's gonna be something crazy. I know for sure. I'm gonna wind up losing. That was pretty good damage, though. Origin Pulse. There it is. And what are the odds of Origin Pulse ever missing? I don't even think it can, because I think it has 100% accuracy. But bye-bye, Charizard. You did your thing, guy. I, oh, well, you know what? It's fine. I knew we were going to lose. But as long as I was able just to capture a battle, that this makes me more than, like, happy, guys. Like, just being able to live this with you guys. Um, I'm going to go for Leaf Storm. I, 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 let's see here. Can we at least KO this? I feel like Rayquaza is going to be next or something that I don't want to see that's going to come out here and just screw me over. And uh, there, there goes our special attack. 
All right, well, bye bye, Kyogre. I just didn't trust it, right? The heavy rain has the heavy rain has lifted. What are you gonna go for next, bro? I know you have something stupid. Just send it out, bro. I, it has to be Rayquaza. It has to be. Everybody uses Rayquaza because they think it's funny. Latias. Oh, that's different. I believe I have Dragon Pulse just for you, my guy. And we should hopefully outspeed this Latias and uh, make it go down. Look at this Dragon Pulse. Come on, Sceptile. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It would be, well, and our special attack's pretty much doo-doo now because we, you know, did it. Now we're just going to go back and forth Dragon Pulsing each other. I'm kind of a little bit surprised that he didn't use uh, something else like Kyogre or whatever. You know, that that's crazy. And I'm pretty sure we would have probably won if we probably didn't use Leaf Pulse, uh, Leaf uh, Storm. But it is what it is. We're just going to go back and forth Dragon Pulsing. Unless I somehow get a critical hit right here or we get some insane high roll, then we are going to definitely lose. If we would have won, though, guys, it would have been funny. But given the odds, I think we did our thing. You know, we, we tried. That, that's pretty much all it is. But, hey, that was cool. We found ourselves a single battle. So that was a GG. Even though we lost, we came really close to winning. But that was a GG, honestly. I should have probably baited with Protect and saw what he was going to do with that Sceptile. But it is what it is, man. G G. Okay, I don't want to battle again. I'm not gonna save the battle replay. Yes, we're gonna just leave it alone. Um, no, we're not gonna continue battling. So I'm gonna go and see if we could find somebody else for a double, uh, triple and rotation battle. If we could get a triple or, or rotation battle, I'm gonna be over the moon excited. So I'll see you guys if we find something. Well, guys, I tried to search again for another battle, but honestly, I couldn't find one for double, triple or rotation, which is completely fine. I'm just happy that we managed to get one battle before just to show on screen that some people actually still battle on these games. The thing that does um, kind of suck is that I was hoping to find a triple rotation battle because those are my favorite. But, you know, in my testing before, I've already found one and I've showed you guys some of the footage from that battle. So it is what it is. With that being said, though, I'm going to go switch over to Pokemon Moon, and we're going to see what the online state of those games look like. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Pokemon Moon. Now, I believe all the online services actually has to go through the Festival Plaza, which I think is okay. Honestly, I prefer the PSS. I thought the player search system was a little bit better than the Festival Plaza just because it was so convenient. I mean, you know, it seems like you got to jump through a couple of hoops in order just to connect online and, you know, trade battle. But, you know, it is what it is. With that being said, though, from when I was younger, man, and I used to stream this game so much, the Festival Plaza theme is burned into my memory. Like, I kid you not, I used to stream it so much that I could close my eyes and I would just start hearing the freaking um, one, the, the Festival Plaza theme in my sleep now we're gonna start doing a wonder trade here i have high hopes that wonder trade is gonna work i'm just gonna trade over this metapod yes that's right i decided that this is the start of the king z villain arc of all the times i've gotten magikarp metapod and caterpie i decided i'm just gonna dish out one just to see how others just so others can get a taste of how i feel so let's see what's gonna happen with metapod here hopefully we should get something crazy i've had probably the best consistent look actually with it like we found someone named amber from canada alberta canada at that so that's really cool i've had the best luck with pokemon sun and moon and ultra sun and ultra moon when it comes down to finding people so let's see what we get is it gonna be something good what is it gonna it's a gyarados you know what that's a pretty decent trade in my opinion we got ourselves a gyarados while she got ourselves a crappy metapod and i'm gonna take it because gyarados unlike magikarp is pretty cool and its name is basilic I don't, I don't know, uh, but Basilic, right? Valisk, Balis, Balisic. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing names. I wonder if that's even an actual like different name for Gyarados in another language, or if that's just the nickname. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I just checked out Wonder Trade. I'm gonna press the B button. I'm sorry. We're gonna go and check out uh, the GTS here. Now, I specifically remember hearing really bad things about the GTS in this game. Because this is the game that a lot of people play, but it's also the game where a lot of hacks stuff goes on. So let's start off with something pretty cool like Zygarde. I know in um, there was an event for Zygarde in these games, right? Uh, let's see, Zygarde. It seems pretty nice, though. 
uh, Yoshi. Yeah, this right here. Okay, this 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 is what I'm talking about. I think this is what Kevdog was talking about. I, I just kind of remember slightly what the player icons look like. But this looks pretty normal, all things considered. I don't see any... I don't see anything weird, you know? Like, just regular Zygarde. Uh, uh, this one's loading. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This is, uh, I believe, an event one too, right? So, rerun underscore one. He wants a Whirlipede. I don't have a Whirlipede, so I can't trade up. Wait! I spoke too soon, guys. My 3DS has crashed. <laughs> It is uh, not responding, and I'm trying to press the home button, and doing the home button is not doing anything. Let me try to do the power off method, maybe. Did this, like, hard crash my 3DS? This, like, hard crashed my 3DS. Like, I just see nothing but a black screen. Hello? I guess I have to, like, hard power it off and then turn it back on. And that, my friends, was pretty weird. I was not expecting that to happen at all. Just what? Oh, it just, did y'all see that, too? It just was like a flash of the GTS that was just on the screen. I know I'm not the only one who saw that. I can't be going crazy here. I know you guys have to see that. So let's try to launch it again and see what, what's going on. Did my stuff get corrupted? I hope not because that would be very unfortunate. That was a first though. Last time I was at least able to power off and just jump into like the home menu on the 3DS. That time it just completely crashed and I had to like hard boot the 3DS. Now, it could have something to do probably with Pokemon um, Sun and Moon being one of the later titles. So, it really pushed the Nintendo 3DS hardware. So, it probably isn't... It, that could be one reason. Or it could just be that was just completely unexpected. I'm kind of tempted to do it again just to see what happens. I it, Maybe... I don't think we got banned or anything. So, we're going to just give it a shot here. They can't ban you for browsing the GTS, right? Yeah, I, I would hope not. So, that was crazy. How about instead we do something a lot simpler? Let's use the channel mascot Zorark. Let's search for a Zorark and maybe we will get lucky and not have to worry about something crazy happening here. So, a Cosmog, all right. Um, a Zorark. See, this seems pretty, pretty chill, you know. Kyogre, Electifier, uh, Porygon Z. So, you know, something cool here. Tapu Koko, Kyurem. I'm kind of scared the longer I go and scroll through, the bigger the chances of something stupid happening. Uh, no, actually, that was that was a pretty solid experience. The game did not crash. What is one other legendary Pokemon that we could search for that would be kind of cool? I know Heatran's pretty popular. It's actually a pretty uh, good, competitively viable Pokemon. I don't know any more if it is, but yeah. So, my 3DS crashed. Just the second we did it, right? Volcano... Those messages uh, communicating, please wait a minute. So, yeah, I, I, I can't do anything. The 3DS has frozen again, and it's like one of those bad freezes, too, where I actually have to hold down the power button. So I'm just going to outright say I think the GTS is broken in this game. Can my 3DS cut off? The, that's the real question, because I would be sad if it bricked it, because this one has the capture card on it, and capture cards are kind of hard to come by. 3DS, what are you doing, 3DS? Come on, there you go. So, let's see if it's going to do that weird thing where it's going to show what was the last thing shown. Like, the GTS, is it going to do that? Yeah, I just saw it. I just I just saw it. It did it again. That's strange. Is the 3DS going to at least boot? Come on. Uh, okay, cool. I was getting nervous for a second because I'm like, this is taking a little bit longer than usual to turn back on. I don't know what's exactly happening here, but the 3DS is having some problems, guys. It's having some problems. All right, so let's connect back uh, to the online and let's actually just do a battle this time and see what happens there. If it's just a regular battle, I'm sure there's not much craziness that can happen, you know? I say that sparingly with, you know, air quotes, hopefully hoping nothing stupid happens. So, yep, we switched back to our online mode. It's checking the data. Nice, nice, nice. So the SD card didn't corrupt because that would have sucked as well. Let's visit the battle spot here. Now, that's what I was talking about, too. I don't know if you guys just saw it, but it was like um, download rules. I think this was the generation where you were able to download special battle formats, actually. We're going to start off with the single battle. Mm. I think for the sake of just simplicity, I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to allow special Pokemon. Only because... I feel like that would just make it easy for little Timmy's who just want to play the game and not have to worry about, 
you know, the logistics of battling and stuff like that. That way we can at least give ourselves the best chance possible in order to find someone to battle. Now, while we're searching for an opponent here, I actually have some footage of me actually getting into a single battle. Um, and I actually believe I even found one for a double battle, but I'm gonna put the single battle uh, footage of me battling on Pokemon um, Sun and Moon. So hopefully, you know, we get a little bit lucky here and we can actually do some nice things here and find someone, give or take, I, I don't know. Now, I would say though, as far as just looking back at the battle spot for the uh, seven generation games, I, I didn't really like the lack of modes, you know? It was cool that they added, and it's like they listened to the community, and they gave a rotation battle playlist for people to play in. I just didn't like how they cut out all the other battles. Now, like I said before, I know you were able to download specific type of battle styles, so maybe triple and rotation battles were added later on at a different time, but I just hate that they weren't in there from the start, you know? I feel like once they make these games, they should just add a bunch of game modes just so people have a bunch of variety to play. When I used to stream these games, all I did was single, double, and multi battles. I very rarely did battle royales because I felt like the custom mode, I believe it was Callum or no, Duncan. I think his name is Duncan Needy. I think he invented it. I think the way that they implemented it, it just kind of worked better instead of the way that Nintendo kind of did it. I mean, I guess once you were able to KO both sides of the party, you weren't able to like continue, right? And the other two people who are on the same side, but going against each other couldn't fight. But, you know, I think it was just a little bit, it could have been done better. With that being said, we were able not, well, we were not able to find anybody for the single battle. So we're going to check out the double battle. I'm going to allow it the uh, special Pokemon just so we can have a chance to open it up to as many people as possible. And then I'm going to come back and uh, let you guys know if we can find somebody. Alrighty, guys. So I tried to search every single mode just like I did for the previous two games. And unfortunately, I couldn't find anybody, which is a little bit confusing. I'll be honest with you guys, because I would have at least expected someone to be playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Like I said before, I think that Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon share the same server since they are in, in essence the same game, but I don't know. I could try a raiding battle, but I don't think I could, I don't, I don't think there's any competition going on. So yeah, the global link website doesn't even work. So I can't even try that. So with that being said, we're going to test out the last game, Pokemon Ultra Sun, and see if we could find somebody. If we can, then I guess the servers aren't as connected as I thought. Or maybe it's just something completely different. With that being said, give me one second. We're going to switch over and we're going to see you guys in Pokemon Ultra Sun. All right, everybody. Welcome to Pokemon Ultra Sun. By far the game that I spent the most time playing when I was doing YouTube. And honestly, the game that just means the most to me out of all the games we checked out. So I'm hoping we can find at least somebody to battle. That would be awesome, right? That would be like the biggest homage I could probably pay to these games because they just i don't know it's like i i i can't help but feel a little bit emotional when i remember these games because i made so many memories and so many friends the first thing like always is we're gonna check out is our wonder trade so i'm gonna trade over this alolan meowth which is kind of cool i did like the alolan forms in pokemon um so i guess the seventh generation because there's really nothing to you know different about it they weren't in the sixth generation so it was a seventh generation type of gimmick and i believe this is kind of what introduced like regional variants of pokemon so it's it, it was a neat idea and i like how they kind of continue going with it right this one says beep beep sob sob king gub i i wasn't able to read the whole thing but uh king gub is about to get a <laughs> <laughs> Lola Meowth. So here you go, buddy. Give me something cool, right? What are you gonna? I, I really hope it's something cool. It seems like it's in a regular Pokeball. He gives me a rat, a Rattata. You know what? That's cool. That's fine. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I've been. It's about time, I guess. My true luck of what I get from the Wonder Trade shows up. I like the rat though, right? Alolan Raticate so OP in this game. It can kill Ultra Necrozma with Sucker Punch, and Ultra Necrozma can't do a thing to it. So. That's pretty cool. You just gave me, like, the God Slayer. Or one of the Pokemon that's always annoying to me. With that being said, let's take a look at the GTS. I'm a little scared. I'm not even gonna lie, because 
I don't want to get banned while we're on this specific GTS because I, I want to check out more, you know, features of this because this game hits so close to me. Um, what's a good Pokemon that we can take a look at? That's like not too crazy, but like good enough. Let's go with Rayquaza. That's that's a that's a pretty neat mon right there. If we or, okay here, let's see a Rayquaza. This looks normal. I want to trade for a Pokemon that is strong in battles. Okay, uh, please trade Pokemon with me. This looks Lunala. Okay, this looks pretty normal. Honestly, Dialga, Kiram. It's a Shiny Rayquaza, which from Korea. All right, Hipster and Abra. I don't think I have an Abra to trade. I was hoping just because we got a Rattata, somebody would be asking for one because that's pretty... Uh, wow, the game actually crashed. Oh, come on, man. We were we were just getting into the swing of things. Is it gonna... Is it a bad crash? Yeah, it's like a hard crash too, man. My 3DS really doesn't like when it crashes like this. So let me turn off the 3DS again and hard power it off too, which is kind of sad. But like I was saying before the 3DS crashed, is it... Come on now. What? Oh, there it is. Why is it that nobody wanted a Rattata, right? I would have happily given away a Rattata. That way I could, uh, you know, hopefully have gotten something good. You know, <laughs> it's like low-hanging fruit, but it is what it is, man. I want to show it in the video. That's what I really want. So we're going to relaunch Pokemon Ultra Sun, and we're going to head back over to the online services just to see if we're going to get lucky enough to be able to trade with somebody and or find somebody to battle with at least a single battle you know i don't want to push the luck too much because i think just getting that single battle on pokemon omega ruby was good enough so yeah you know and like i said i have other footage that i could show from my previous testing now one thing i can say that i've never really noticed was the 3ds crashing in my previous testing i've had weird errors where they would put weird messages on the GTS, but I've never had it to the point where the GTS j just crashes the 3DS. I've, I've never seen that happen before. We're gonna give it one more chance. I have a very strange feeling it's gonna end the exact same way, but we're gonna give it what they like, well, what a lot of people, myself included, like to call the good old college try here. Let's go for something not too crazy. Um, Hydra <laughs> Hydreigon is not that crazy, right? I mean, it's a crazy mon, but like, it's not that crazy. It's a shiny one. It's the one to rush a rim. Uh, can anybody take? Ooh, Trevenant, nice. A uh, Porygon too. It's so cool just seeing these 3D sprites. So I, I, I can't help but like just look and be like, wow. Does anybody want a Rattata? It froze. <laughs> it froze. Does anybody want a Rattata? And it froze from uh, on a girl from Emily uh, from the United States in Texas. All right, Emily, thank you for crashing my 3DS. You person, you. I don't even want to call you a hacker because I, I don't know. Maybe it's just the GTS, but it is what it is. And of course, I have to do the entire power off then power back on just so we can see the 3DS try to connect back again. And it still does that weird thing where it shows the last frame I, I'm supposing of what was in there. Maybe it's that was the last frame that was in the 3DS's RAM. And it's just like, boom, here it is before it hard crashed. I don't know. So we've gotten our answer. The GTS and Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon are just broken. Like, if I can just give a recommendation, stay away from it. Because it's going to crash your 3DS over and over and over again. And you might have a chance at getting banned. So just be weary of that. Now, let's swap over as we connect back to the internet and go to the battle spot. That's what I want to see. I'm kind of... Mm, conflicted in a way because maybe there are people who are searching with pokemon uh, i think it's what like legendary pokemon or the, the, i forgot exactly what it called it like legendary pokemon band no special pokemon so maybe just maybe there's one where people are actually searching because they want a, a, a nice battle where they don't have to worry about little timmy no thumbs <laughs> you know not wanting to spam um, a freaking Ultra Necrozma in their face, which I, I, I give them credit for. So I might actually check just to see if we can find somebody who's going to want to battle uh, in both sections, just so I can say I covered my bases, because this is the game where I want to have a Wi-Fi. Wow, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I spoke, and it seems like the gods have blessed me with this we're, we're gonna get screwed, bro. He's got a Pikachu, Charizard, everybody's favorite, um, I guess, Landorus uh, for the 5th gen. Uh, we have Necrozma, Xerneas, and Pukumuku. That's that's different. 
So you know what? I'm going to go Gengar. I'm going to go for Ampharos. I feel like... Mm, mm. Not going to doubt would have been nice, but you know what? I'm just going to go with these three. We're going to probably get our butts destroyed looking at this man's team. He has, like, the power. <laughs> He's probably going to lead with Landorus T as well. I, could I just see it. But it's cool. At least we're getting a battle here. Look at this guy. I forgot. You can also have really dumb poses in this game. I don't know why I chose that one. That's kind of cringe. But <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Let's see here. Battle. Is it going to go through all the way? That's that's the, that's the what I'm wondering over here. I don't, I don't even know this guy's name, too, since it's in Japanese. But let's see. I'm going to go with Gengar. All right. We got my boy Gengi over here. What are you going to go with? Please. It's Necrozma. Ah. Yeah. It's Necrozma. I... I <laughs> I, I hate to say I know where this is about to go, but I, I know where this is about to go. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm, I, I'm about to get hit with a light that burns the sky. He's about to smite me off this planet, bro. I should have went Sucker Punch. Look, it's happening. It's happening. Look at this. Man, the memories. The freaking memories. I, I freaking hated this thing, right? Ultra Necrozma made me hate and I put emphasis on the word hate Necrozma. Can it go down? Oh, no, 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 Photon Geyser. Is it a charge deck? No. Darn. Mm. You know what? This is my, this is, this is, ah, you're disabled. Hi, nerd. Um, this is my life goal. My life goal is to kill Ultra Necrozma. I don't care what it takes. We're probably going to, uh, I don't even know. I don't know. I need something that can tank the hit. You know what? It's, it doesn't matter. As long as I can kill Ultra Necrozma, that's all I care about. We're going to lose this battle in the most horrendous way because Timmy No Thumbs over here with his Ultra Necrozma, which is, I guess, so funny, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for the Oceanic Operetta if we even get that chance to. He used Toxic. <laughs> Oceanic Operetta is not even going to, like, kill the stupid thing either, which is funny. Um, so it doesn't matter, but we're gonna go for it just to show off the Z move too because Z moves were really Interesting in this generation as well. I know a lot of people didn't care for it I just thought it was okay, and I noticed it pauses the battle timer when that happens. Let's go oceanic operetta man Hit him with that. I think it was like a what it was either a bunch of water like a big ball of water Where she kisses it or she pushes it towards him or something I don't know as long as we kill the stupid necrozma. That's all I really care about. This is my life goal just kill it. Just kill it. Kill it with water. <laughs> Let's go. Push it down. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Let's go. It's dead. Yes. That, that, yes. Th take your bow, Primarina. Take your bow. That's awesome. Goodbye. It wasn't very effective, but I don't care. I'm proud. My, I, we could lose this battle in the horrendous, in the most horrendous fashion, but as long as we were able to take down that stupid Necrozma, I'm happy. I can end this video on a high note now. One, because we got the battle that I wanted. Two, because we killed the stupid um, Necrozma. Let's see here. There's not much else that, that this Puka Milka can do. I'm going to just go for Ampharos because Ampharos is going to counter this thing really crazy. I believe, what, yeah, Mega Evolutions were also in this, so I can Mega Evolve. I don't know if I have the Ampharos site, though. I think it's a Citrus Berry or something on it, which is a little unfortunate. Ah, look at you. Yeah, you're really protecting. You thought, you thought, bud. You thought. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Man, I really should have uh, found... I don't even know if it, you could actually get, now I think about it, the um, Mega Stone anymore in these games. Why are you poisoning my whole team, bro? What is your deal? If I could, that would have been nice. But, you know, it, it, it's kind of funny, too, because I believe I used Puka Muka one time, and I had this video on my original King's Earth channel where I poisoned this guy. He was Zach. He's still um, a viewer of the channel to this day. But I poisoned his entire team with Puka Muka, and I think I titled it. I poisoned his guys. What are you doing? What? Wow. That is such a stupid gimmick. Well, Quick Claw. I, I didn't know what was happening for a second. I thought it was going to do something crazy. But um, I poisoned his entire team with a, a cucumber, which was Puka Muka, and it was the funniest thing ever. He, he actually has a good sense of humor, too, because he, he, he did not. Uh, it it could have gone over a lot worse. But it is what it is. Ampharos with the Thunderbolt. Goodbye, Pukumuku. Which is a really interesting name for a Pokemon. Innards out. I remember. It's like Aftermath. Goodbye, Pukumuku. I wonder what his last Pokemon is. It's probably something that we can't beat. But it, we, we got to just at least give it a shot here. Unless he, like, threw the battle. But I, I don't remember from the team preview what he had. Outlander. Yeah, we're, it's over. Well, guys, we, we had a good run. <laughs> we we had a good run. But uh, 
Landorus is gonna end our streak here. It was fun. Maybe we could get off one last outrage. Landorus T is probably it's gonna outspeed Ampharos, because Ampharos is slow. And look at that, man. To be fair, I used a lot of Landorus Therian when I used to stream my Wi-Fi battles because it's just a really good Pokemon. But it is kind of annoying having it happen to you. <laughs> to be honest with you. Maybe I don't even have like a oh no, wait, we have a water attack. Maybe we should have saved the Z move. Who knows? If we can beat Lander Asterion, bro, we're on a whole different level. But this thing's going to obviously outspeed us. I could go for Hyper Voice. That could be cool because we have our hidden ability. So maybe? E I, there's no way we could tank an E-Quake, though. That's probably like max attack. Right? That's Yeah, that's like it. That's that's OV. Oh, two hit points! But Poison's still going to like take us out. Oh, well. Yeah, that didn't even do enough. Oh, oh well, Primarina. You tried, girly. You tried. It was cool. So, yeah, we lost both battles. We bo we came close to it. Sad. We came close to winning both of our final battles. But it, it was nice. It was nice just seeing the ability to battle again. Of course, we're going to check out the double in the um, Battle Royale and see if we could find anybody. But that, that, that was still cool. That, that was a good way. That ended it, in my opinion, on a high note, right? We ended this uh, video on a high note. So, we're going to... Nope. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a double battle, but I really doubt it. So I'm going to go search for a double battle, and then I'm going to come back to you guys with the results if we find anybody for the double and um, not rotation battle. I don't know why. The battle royale um, battle. So I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like I thought, guys, I wasn't able to find anybody for a double or a battle royale. So that's it. We've checked out the online for every single one of these games and i have to say it was it was a blast it was a nice trip down memory lane of just what the online was and just seeing everything honestly i'm a little bit disheartened to see that there's hardly anybody playing these games anymore but just think just being able to feel the emotions i felt playing these games online again was awesome and it just puts a smile on my face right so guys if y'all made it to the end of this video, which I doubt people will, but if you did, you're a real one, you're a trooper, why don't you comment your favorite memory or um, the word pineapple? Well, I already said pineapple. Comment the word apple <laughs> down below in the comment section along with your favorite memory of the Nintendo 3DS. It could be Pokemon related or it could be just anything related, honestly. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to be working on my next big video for this channel, which is going to be that whole retrospective on Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm really excited. It's been coming along pretty good. I'm sorry it took for a while for me to do it, but I really want to make sure I give a lot of quality over quantity. Uh, be expecting some new videos on my Alpha X challenges. I actually have a couple of Pokemon challenges I need to edit, like the Professor Oak challenge for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I've taken care of it. It's completed. I just have to edit it and do the voiceover for it. So with that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.